In this video we are going to have the Samsung UN58 or U7100 FX year review, we will have a detailed look on the various features this product possesses. This video will help you decide whether this television is perfect for your needs. We provided a link on the description to give you the best prices on the market right now. Samsung focuses more on its high-end QLED TVs than its budget models, resulting in some very impressive top-of-the-line screens like the Q90R, at the expense of innovation and quality on the other end of the spectrum. The Samsung RU7100 is an excellent example of this. This line of 4K TVs is very affordable at $399.99 for the 58-inch UN58 or U7100 FXEA we tested, but poor contrast performance and a limited color range can't compare with similarly priced TVs from other manufacturers, like the Hisense H8 and the TCL6 series. The RU7100 looks simple and unassuming, virtually indistinguishable from any budget TV with its half-inch flat black plastic bezels interrupted only by a small silver bar bearing the Samsung logo in the middle of the bottom bezel. The TV sits on two equally bland V-shaped plastic legs colored a similar near black dark gray as the frame. With the exception of the power cable connector on the left side of the back of the TV, all ports can be found on the right, split between a recess filled with connections facing right and another with connections facing back. The right-facing ports include three HDMI ports, two USB ports, an antenna-slash-cable connector, and an optical audio output, an Ethernet port, and a set of component video inputs face back in the second recess. He remote is a clunky, button-laden rectangular wand, an unpleasant step back from the simplicity of the Q90R's remote. It's an infrared-only model that requires direct line of sight with the TV, and has no pinhole microphone for using Samsung's Bixby voice assistant. No real loss there, as Bixby isn't very helpful. The biggest frustration is the remote's general design, which is covered with very similar feeling rectangular rubber buttons. Even the direction pads up, down, left, and right buttons feel the same as the surrounding menu and service buttons, requiring you to look down at the remote to navigate any menu. The RU7100 uses Samsung's smart TV platform, which provides access to most major streaming services and supports AirPlay 2 and Voice Assistant controls with Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant with linked smart speakers. The TV itself doesn't feature a microphone to use them on its own. It's a capable platform with a strong suite of features, but the interface can be a bit overbearing in recommending content, and the remote, and its Hulu button positioned very close to the left and up buttons, tends to lead to accidentally loading apps when you're trying to stay on an HDMI input. The RU7100 failed to impress with its contrast and color performance. While the TV supports HDR, HDR10, HDR10+, and HLG, but not Dolby Vision, we saw little difference between HDR and standard dynamic range signals, or between full screen and 18% field brightness tests. The RU7100 showed a peak brightness of around 330CD-M2 across the board for all modes, which is fairly dim for an LED lit LCD TV. The black level was mediocre as well, at 0.071CD-M2 for a contrast ratio of 4,654 to 1. The Hisense H8, by comparison, is over twice as bright, 796.84cd-m2, and has a black level less than a third that of the RU7100, 0.02cd-m2, for a far superior contrast ratio of 39,842 to 1. The H8 also suffers from occasional light bloom, but it's a worthy trade-off for better contrast. Color performance is similarly unimpressive in range, though the RU7100 is at least fairly accurate out of the box. The above chart on the left shows an SDR signal with the color space set to automatic and picture set to movie, compared with Rec.709 broadcast standards. The above chart on the right shows an HDR signal with color space set to native and picture set to HDR movie, compared with the DCI-P3 color space. For SDR, whites run slightly cool and reds are a bit undersaturated, but otherwise the colors are largely accurate out of the box. For HDR, while the color reaches a bit wider, it doesn't come close to reaching the full range of the DCI-P3 color space, both the Hisense H8 and TCL6 series come much closer to covering the gamut, as does the step-up Samsung RU8000. Samsung's RU7100 line of TVs offer size flexibility for a low price. If you're desperate for a 43-inch TV or want a 75-inch screen without paying more than $1,200, it's a reasonable choice. Or to buy. You can get the Samsung UN58 or U7100 FXEA through the link below in the description. We have checked to ensure those are the best price in the market right now. Thanks for watching.